It is a beautiful day in paradise here in Hawaii. My name is Ashley Wasson. I am the owner and founder of Oahu Lux Homes, brokered by eXp Realty. Today, I wanted to talk to you about reasons I love working with investors. I mean, I am an investor, but I also love working with investors. I've been in the industry for going on 13 years. And about 12 of those, I have been working and primarily niching in investments with fix and flip, buy and hold, some multifamily and commercial as well. But first, before we start, please take a moment to like, subscribe, hit the little bell so you can get notified about all things Hawaii, Oahu, and the real estate market. And we're gonna dive right in. So I have three reasons for you why I love working with investors. If you're a realtor or if you are an investor, these are some things to look out for, for your agent. And if you are an agent, these are some things that you can learn and hopefully love about working with investors as well. One, I think is the most obvious is the residual and compound business. When you're working with investors, at least for me, I started representing them on the buy side. So finding deals and depending on the type of investor you're working with. So if they're doing a burr strategy, like a buy, rent, rehab, renovate, refinance, if they're doing a fix and flip, if they're doing a buy and hold where they house hack and they're gonna be living in one part, renting out the other part, or if they're trying to buy a, a legitimate multifamily, or is it gonna be more than four units, under four units? Is it a syndication deal? Is it a commercial? Are they looking for appreciation or depreciation? You wanna know all things that are gonna be involved around your niche and then stick to it, right? When you do that and you master that skill and you master understanding what your client's needs are, you're gonna be a better agent. And or if you are a buyer, you're gonna have a better understanding of your portfolio. So what I love about the residual and compound business is that you can pick just a couple investors you love to work with if they're players in the market or depending on the strategy, of course. But let's just stick for the sake to some fix and flip because that's the new hot, sexy thing to do in real estate. When you're dealing with the buy side of fix and flip, you can systemize you know, your process is a lot easier. I used to be able to manage 10 to 12 transactions at any given time in the last decade working with investor buyers. So, you know, I wake up in the morning, I hit the banks if it's a foreclosure or distress sale, I contact the building departments, um, your utility companies, you know, at least in Hawaii, our real estate gets kind of complicated. We have unique tenure here and we also have a lot of issues just depending on hillside, landslide, special management areas, etc. So I just love learning about that stuff. So I just spent a decade diving into it and peeling back the layers of the onion, so to speak, with my client. Not that I would give them that advice. You, I'm still just a licensed agent. However, at least I can stimulate the conversation and get thinking in different areas and realms beyond just this is what you buy it at, this is what you sell it at. But depending on your market, it can be just as simple as that. Compound business is when you get to represent them on the buy side and then again on the list side. That's the beauty, right? That's the dream. You get a couple good clients, they buy and sell maybe five, 10 houses a year and you get you know double the amount of sales. Personally, I don't and didn't operate that way. I never expected my clients to give me the listings when I started off, especially when I was new. I wanted the learning experience and I didn't know how to do the listings and I didn't know how to do the sales side to the best of my ability. So I let that in someone else's wheelhouse and I just focused on the sales side and I created amazing systems around it where I still had a strong balance and I was able to go to the beach or hang out with my family. When I got more experience and I had a larger budget, because here I offer staging photography and certain aspects to my listings to just offer the highest level of service, I then targeted getting the listings. But that doesn't mean that you have to do it that way. You absolutely can earn and deserve both buy and sell. Your buyers will buy multiple properties at a time. It's fantastic. The second reason I love working with investors is the free experience and learning lessons. I mean, what better of a position can you be in if your clients are taking a risk? Hey, if you're a buyer, make sure that you are partnering with the right agent because there is big risks depending on the type of investments you're going with. You do need someone, you need a good team. You need a good realtor, good lender, good hard money lender. You need to be a good investor. You need a good general contractor, engineer. You're as only as good as the team that you surround yourself with, right? But if you're very experienced and you need a hustler, then get a new agent who can just pump out offers or who will just give you all of their time. That's how I started out. Kind of 
ping-ponging between agents and investors, and some investors are agents, you get to understand the process of buying different types of properties with hearing the learning lessons that they're going through. If they're using hard money, what was the loan process like for them? What were the hiccups? What killed the deal at the end of the day, right before closing? If they closed the deal and they ran into issues with the you know, sewer lateral lines or having erosion and they didn't inspect it in advance, maybe you didn't know to advise them, you know, how much did that cost? If they need to install a pool, how much does that cost? Are you having any issues with your city and county on getting permits, etc.? The learning lessons just go far and wide because we all deserve to invest. We all deserve to get into financial freedom through real estate. The third is opportunity. When you're around people who are investing in real estate and who are playing at a higher level, eventually you'll start playing alongside them. So to back on point two, the free experience and lessons learned, you want to get that experience and learn those lessons for when you're ready to invest in real estate and you get to carry that knowledge on to your clients. And then for the opportunity, when you're helping people, it'll all come around full circle. If you just come in with the mentality of abundance and go-giver, the business will come to you. So that's, I think that's why I never expected the listings when I did the buy side. I didn't feel like I could service them best and I wanted to make sure that they could get the highest resale value. It wasn't about me getting compensated. I was never in it for the money. And you can tell when you're working with people who are in it for the right reasons and who's really looking out for your best interest, who is your partner and vice versa. If you're a realtor working with an investor client, does that investor respect you? Are they respecting your time or are they being overly demanding? But when you have unity, you have mutual respect for one another, you have hustle and grind, and you guys are trying to learn and grow together, then you can create tons of opportunity for yourself, for your other clients and for your investors. And you could get into projects yourself, you can get into private money lending, you could get into other business opportunities because they might be involved in other stuff. It's all around an incredible chance to build your real estate portfolio, being an investor or being a realtor who works with investors. If you're not working with one, try it, dive into it. It might not be for you, everyone has their niche. Some are Zillow, some are Sphere, some are YouTube, some are Investor. I just wanted to start off with three major reasons why I love working with investors. If you found this information valuable, please take a moment again to like, subscribe, and hit the little notification button, the little bell button to get notifications on everything Hawaii, Oahu, and the real estate market. I'm super easy to get a hold of, and I would love to hear from you no matter your timing. My email, contact information, and link to schedule a Zoom is in the description below. Please touch base, reach out. Love to hear from you. Until next time, have a blessed day. Aloha.